Welcome back to New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. We are back at the Pro Series Ultimate Ladder Tournament. In this segment, you're going to see Jim Ayotte against Jeff Surratt on lanes 7 and 8, and Sean Baker versus Sean McKinley on lanes 9 and 10. As you'll recall, Jeff Surratt is fresh off a win over Chris Sacchetti, and Sean Baker is coming off a win over Steve Vadney, which we did not show. Uh, I don't have video of that, but we will show you the score sheet from that score, uh, from that match. Uh, Sean Baker defeated Steve Vadney by a score of 170 to 129. Now, Sean is facing Sean McKinley, and actually, as you will see by the back of their shirts, We've got three guys from the Lucky Strike team bowling at the same time. Sean Baker, Sean McKinley, and Jeff Surratt. And that's a nice bid by Sean Baker, but he doesn't quite get the 10-pin. Jeff Surratt. He's also going to be open in the first box against Jim Ayotte. Jeff with a 9. Sean Baker has been on fire in the last couple of matches. He had that uh, 182 game in his match against Justin Scally and then the 170 against Steve Vadney. So Sean McKinley is obviously aware that he's really got to do some bowling here because Sean Baker is at the top of his game. And Sean Baker puts a spare on the board in the second box. And that'll bring up Sean McKinley on lane 10. Meanwhile, Jeff Surrett almost converts that 4, 6, 7, 10 using the wood in front of the 4, 7 to uh, go over and get the 6, 10, but the 7 pin didn't go. So it'll be a 10 for Jeff Surratt. He's got 19 after two. John McKinley will be open in the first box. And it'll be a nine. Jim Ayotte. Hits the head pin, but leaves uh, the three, six, seven, eight, ten. Same leave Sean Baker had moments ago, but not as much wood. And he makes a, a nice try on it, but uh, still has three, three remaining, seven, eight, and ten. And Sean McKinley gets a strike on lane nine. Let's have a look at this strike by Sean. Very light hit in the one-two pocket. But the head pin goes to the sidewall and eventually wipes out the entire cluster of pins on the right side. So he stays even with Sean Baker in the marks department. Sean comes back up to fill that spare that he had in the second box. Jim Ayotte with a nice shot for a 10. Takes a one pin lead over Jeff Surratt. And Jim Ayotte with a nice ball in the 1 2 pocket, leaving the 6 10. Jim Ayotte makes a spare. Meanwhile, Sean Baker over on lane 10 drops 9, leaving the 10-pin with a piece of wood in front of it. No problem for Sean.
Death threat with a nine box in the in the third. He's got twenty eight through three. John Baker working on that spare that he had in the third. Sean drops six, leaving the three, four, six, ten. A piece of wood behind the three and six might help him a little bit. And that's a great shot by Jeff Surrett, meanwhile. Had a five drop, and let's take a look at it. One, two, six, seven, ten. Perfect. Great shot by Jeff Surrett. And there's a terrific shot by Sean Baker. He cuts that three over into the four. Not sure if the wood helped him on this shot or if it would have might have gone anyway. He just cut the, the three pin over pretty thin. So that's three spares in a row by Sean Baker. That means that Sean McKinley is going to have to pedal as fast as he can to, uh, to keep up working on that strike. He drops nine. Six pin with a nice piece of wood. Jim Ayotte with a spare in the, in the third. Wow. Sean McKinley makes the spare, but let's take a look at this on the replay. Uh, just a whole bunch of lumber in front of that six pin. And he hits, he hits it pretty hard, but everything goes right around the six, and I'm not really sure what it is that took that six pin down. Was it one of the pins spinning around behind it, or did the ball come back into play? It's really hard to tell. But in any case, it's a spare for John McKinley in the third. Jim Ayotte filling his spare with six. He's got a 15 pin lead over Jeff Surrett, 43 to 28 through three. John McKinley, seven drop. That gives him a one pin lead temporarily over John Baker, 46 to 45 after three. But of course, Sean had that spare in the fourth. Wow. Nice bid by Sean McKinley, but the wood was frozen on the five, and that made it difficult to, to get all three of those. It just kind of deflected the, the five pin in front of the eight, and nothing got the ten. So it's a nine box, 55 through four for Sean McKinley. Jeff Surratt with an eight drop. Eight fill on that spare. He's got 46 through four. Seven, ten, a couple pieces of wood, but I don't really see what he can. It's going to be tough to get them both. Maybe if he goes to the left end of that front wood, he might be able to get the ball to take the seven and the, have the wood take the ten. But it's going to it's going to require some precision. Yeah, it looks like that's probably what he was trying to do, but he didn't catch the wood. Or he might have actually been going... There was a couple other pieces of wood behind it. I, so He may have been trying to use that other wood. He was motioning to the uh, spectators. In any case, it's a uh, 10 box. Sean Baker with 8 on the spare and another. That's 4 spares in a row for Sean Baker. He's got 73 with a ball to roll. And let's look at this ball that Jeff Surrett just threw. Nice ball in the 1-3 pocket, but the ball is deflected around the 10 pin, and he just gets nothing to shoot at here. 7-8-10. This goes to show you how good a ball you can throw and not have much to, to show for it. And a nice bid, but it was tough to get that seven pin. Tough to get all three of those. Sean Baker with a another eight drop. And he's got the seven eight with a piece of wood that looks pretty good. It looks like he might be able to use that to cover both the seven and eight and get his fifth consecutive spare. And he's got it. 
So Sean Baker has 91 through six with that spare still to, uh, to fill when he gets back up. Sean McKinley has 55 through four. So he's down eight to Sean Baker, and uh, of course Sean has two more spares up on the board. So Sean McKinley really has to uh, has to step it up. Jim Ayotte will be open in the fifth. That gives him a 61 to 56 lead over Jeff Surrett. Five pins. Sean McKinley with a nice bid on the diamond on lane 10, but the uh, the back pin there, the nine, wouldn't go. So he's going to be open in the fifth, and he will have well, it's a 10 for 65. So he's down 16 to Sean Baker's 81. And then Sean has uh, Baker has the spare in the sixth, so this is a very important box for Sean McKinley. He does not want to fall any further behind. And that is a strike for Sean McKinley. Very timely. This is a, uh, a really light hit in the 1-2 pocket. But again, excellent sidewall action and everything goes. So that's, uh, that gives Sean 75 plus two balls in the sixth. <clears throat> As Sean Baker comes back, filling the, uh, his spare in the sixth. Jeff Surrett struggling here. He's on the head pin, as you've seen repeatedly, but having trouble really getting much pin action, having much of anything to look at for spares. It gives him an 8, and he's got 74 through 7. Sean Baker with 7 on the spare. <coughs> he's got the 5, 6, 10 with some wood, and he is looking for his 6th consecutive spare. Looks like that wood in front of the five might sweep the three, but I'm not sure if it's covering the five. And it comes off the wall. Sure enough, it was not covering the five, but he got it off the wall. And you'll see on, on replay, pretty much the shot that you're expecting him to try, to try to sweep it over, and, and the, uh, the wood went in front of the five, but then came back. So that's six pairs in a row for... Sean Baker. That gives him through seven. He's got 108 with a ball still to throw. And he's going to put seven on that. Sh Sean has been filling his, his marks pretty well. He's had nine, six, eight, eight, seven, and seven on those six pairs. This one is tricky, though. He's got uh, four, seven, ten, a couple pieces of wood. He goes up to take a look at it. Hard to tell if he wants to play that front wood or go by it and try to catch the second wood. He's taking another look at it. He's really... Sean Baker is one of the best wood readers in the sport of Candlepin Bowling. He will often come up with a read that doesn't seem obvious at, the, at first glance. Oh, and that's a great try. He tried to catch that first, kick that first wood over into the 10, but I think he caught just a tiny bit too much of it. So the, the uh, string of spares will end at six for Sean Baker. He's got 124 through eight. Jim Ayotte with a spare in the seventh. He's opening up a bit of a lead against Jeff Surratt and Kind of threw it in the ocean there, but got a nice break for an 8-drop. That gives him a 15-pin lead over Jeff Surrett, 89-74. to 74. Sean McKinley punches through for a spread eagle. 
Still working on that strike. He'll be trying to get as much of a fill as he can. And that is a fill. Wow. Wow. Tremendous shot by Sean McKinley. Cuts that three over into the four. And the four comes off the wall to take the two. That's a perfect spread eagle conversion. And badly, badly needed. That gives Sean McKinley 85 through six. So he is down 13. And then uh, he has, well, the spare in the seventh gives him 95 with the ball working to Sean Baker's 115. And John adds eight, so he has 103 and is trailing by 12. He's got the one and 10, a piece of wood behind the head pin, and it might be frozen. This could be a little tricky, but let's see what he can do with it. He's got it. Very nice shot by Sean McKinley. That is going to tighten it up, because with the open box in the eighth, Sean Baker has 124, and now Sean McKinley has 113 with a ball to roll. So it's an 11 pin lead minus whatever Sean McKinley puts on that spare. A couple of clutch shots right there by Sean McKinley. Jeff Surrett continues to struggle. And he's going to be open again. So it looks like he is going to go down to, uh, to in defeat to Jim Ayotte. Jeff finishes with a 101 string, and Jim already has 98 through 8. So Jim Ayotte is going to move on to the next round of match play. Meanwhile, Sean Baker with a 9 drop on lane 10. He's got the 8 pin with a piece of wood in front of it, and he's all over that. So Sean is going to have a phenomenal total for his first three matches here. Since he had the 182 and the 170, that gives him 352. And right now, he's got 134 with the fill ball in the ninth. Sean adds five, six, seven. 141. And he's got the one, seven, and nine with some couple pieces of wood between the one and seven. And this is a pretty important spare because Sean McKinley is uh, making a run at him with those three marks in a row. And that's a nice shot by Sean Baker. In slow motion, you can see he hits the right side of the head pin and uses that wood to take out the seven and nine. So that gives him 151 with a ball to roll. And that means that for the three strings of match play, he's got 503 plus whatever he gets on this ball right here. Not that it matters, since these are one string matches, so the, the three string total doesn't mean anything, but it's, it's uh, still a pretty phenomenal display of bowling. Anytime you can break 500. But this is an important fill ball. And just two. So Sean Baker finishes with a 153. And that gives him 505 for his uh, total for his, uh, his three. But Sean McKinley is still definitely in the game. He's got 113 plus a ball through eight. Let's see what he can do here. And it's a strike for Sean McKinley in the ninth. That gives him 123 through eight and, and 133. And you can see the strike, 133 through eight with the fill ball, uh, two fill balls on the strike. So Sean, well, let's see, he needs another mark, a spare, he, he, if he got uh, nine on the spare, on the strike and a 10 box, he would lose by one. 
So he has to convert this spare right here. He's got the four pin, and it looks like that wood is frozen behind it, so he's got a pretty big target. But he has to make this. And he does. You can see he, he missed the four, and the, the crowd's giving him a little uh, ribbing about that because he missed the four, but the wood spun around and took it out. So that gives him 153. So all he has to do is stay behind the foul line and put some kind of a fill on this spare. And if he knocks anything down, he will be the winner. So Sean fills it with six, and that is a 159 game. So Sean McKinley defeats Sean Baker 159 to 153. Meanwhile, Jim Ayotte defeated Jeff Surrett 121 to 101. Now let's take a look at the score sheet that um, this is actually the, the score sheet that Sean Baker had over his last three matches. You can see the 182 to 113 win over Justin Scally. And then in the second match, which we didn't show on video, he had 170 to Steve Adney's 129. And finally in this last match, Sean McKinley threw a 159, defeating Sean Baker with 153. So as you can see, Sean Baker had 505 in those three matches. But because it's a one-string match, he gets sent home by Sean McKinley, who will move on to the next round of match play.